What up y'all, welcome back to the Fit Man Cook Kitchen. And today I'm really excited because we're doing one of my favorite meals, we're tackling brunch. Now, over the years I have always encouraged people to take their prep and leftover ingredients and find fun ways to incorporate them into something that is exciting and fun, right? So I've always said frittatas. But today I thought about something else. It's like, hmm, at the end of the week, what's always in my fridge? I'm always left with veggies because sometimes I'm not sure if you like me, but I eat with my eyes and, and I have aspirational buying tendencies inside the grocery store. You know how when you, Jesse, when you walk in, you're like, this is it. I'm gonna eat all this fresh stuff. I'm gonna get this, this, and this. And then at the end of the week, you're like, oh dang, it's still there, still staring at me. See, I don't even go to the grocery store that often. Like Abby shops in our household from the oh. store. So when I do go, you know what happens? What do you buy? I bring home all the random junk food that I, <laughs> I'm like, oh yeah, I forgot about this. <laughs> Anyway, today I thought let's make some waffles and taking the leftover ingredients to go ahead and do that. All right, let's get started. For the waffle batter, let's grab some oats. Look at all these aspirational purchases. This zucchini is looking like it's about to go bad, so this one is definitely a prime candidate. Take this carrot as well. We're gonna add in some apples to ours as well. Add a nice bit of sweetness. You can use store-bought batter or you can actually make your own, which I highly recommend. It's another way to use up some ingredients that tend to go bad. So I've got some dried oats here. I'm gonna add these to a blender. Oat milk, some eggs. When we add in plant-based milk, we eliminate a lot of that fat that we do need for a nice texture to our waffle. So I'm gonna add in a neutral flavored oil, avocado oil. A little bit of maple syrup for some sweetness. Some baking powder. And then just a pinch of salt. Pop the top, let's blend it up. Okay, grab the largest mixing bowl you can find in your kitchen. And then we're going to grate these ingredients into the bowl. Chop off the top. We're gonna do about a half cup's worth. Now this carrot is ginormous, so I'm probably only gonna do half of it. Okay, there we go. And then we're gonna add some apples. For another pop of sweetness, we're gonna toss in some dates. Add in the waffle batter. Now we're just gonna fold everything together, you know, fold. I, I understand that, but how, how do you fold it? Do you fold it in half like a piece of paper and drop it in the pot, or what do you do? I'm gonna add in some heart healthy fats, some hemp hearts, and then a little bit of flax. All right, so hear me out. Instead of just enjoying these with some maple syrup or honey or whatever you actually choose to, I thought about what if we made the vanilla tahini maple glaze. A little bit of maple and some tahini. Splash of vanilla, cinnamon. And let's give this a good mix. As if I didn't think it was gonna be good. Fire up your waffle iron, spray it with some oil, and in goes the batter. Beautiful. Getting these out can always be tricky. I like to use a fish spatula for the taste test. Cheers. All right, this is um, <laughs> this is amazingly good. Oh my god, <clears throat> Jesse. Mm. Mm. <laughs> okay, Kev, you did something here, man. It's good, isn't it? <laughs> it's so good. Oh snap! You killed it. Mm. Like that. Don't mind if you do. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Because this recipe makes so much, you have enough for your brunch, but if you wanted to, your meal prep. All right, y'all, that's it for today's video. I hope that you enjoyed it. I don't want you just to go and make this. I want you to run, hop, skip, jump, anything that is faster than a walk. If you like this video, I want you to smash that like button. Comment below how you would actually tweak this recipe out. These are latka inspired waffles, <laughs> veggie latka inspired waffles. I would love to hear your take on it. Keep coming back to the channel for daily inspiration. And remember, if you're new, you gotta ring that bell, ding, ding, ding. So that way you can be notified every time I post hot new content here in the Fit Man Cook Kitchen. Catch up on earlier episodes of our podcast at the table. Follow me at Fit Man Cook on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter for our daily inspiration as well. All right, y'all, until next time, keep it healthful. But of course, what? That's right, never ever boring. Boom! Peace.